here we go again. Please pray for everybody that hears these words. That, um, many people are taking the, the gospel tracks and there's a prayer um, and it shows the way of salvation on, on the track. So please pray for everybody. God bless. God bless you, Doncaster. Jesus Christ loves each and every one of you. He wants you saved. But he said, unless we repent, that means change your minds from your unbelief and believe we will all perish. The Bible says that we all have sinned. We all fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus died on the cross. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of past, present and future sins. He was buried. On the third day he rose again from the dead. That if you shall confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth, say, yes, I believe Jesus. Believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You will be saved. That's how simple it is. It's not about being religious. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you're doing or what you have done. Jesus will not turn anyone away who goes to him in truth. Jesus Christ is the good shepherd. The good shepherd gave his life for the sheep on the cross. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man take them out of my hand. Go to Jesus, lay hold of your salvation. Jesus will not turn you away if you go to him. First of all, you have to recognize, yes, of course I have sinned. The Bible says we all have sinned. The Bible also says that the wages of sin is death. That means the destruction of the soul in hell for eternity. God is not willing that that should happen to you. And he's not asking you to get religious. He's asking you only to believe on the name of his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes on him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life, and their name shall be written in heaven. Jesus Christ is the good shepherd. Go to him. He wants to give you the gift of God, which is everlasting life, through Jesus. For there is no other name under heaven given amongst men by which we must be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth. I am the life, the everlasting life. Go to Jesus, lay hold of your salvation. Be sure of where you're going to spend eternity, heaven or hell. You have a choice. God is not willing that you perish in hell. For God did not send his son, Jesus, into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Jesus might be saved. The hour is very late. Jesus Christ is coming. This world is about to witness the vanishing of hundreds of thousands of people who have believed on Jesus in what's commonly referred to as the rapture, when Jesus Christ himself descends from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God, and he will gather up to heaven all who have believed on him, all who have believed that Jesus Christ was indeed sacrificed on the cross for all their sin. He was indeed buried, but rose again on the third day. The only requirement for your salvation is to believe on Jesus' death, burial, resurrection, and call upon him. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation for anyone and everyone that believes. Lay hold of your salvation. Be sure of where you are going to spend eternity. Heaven or hell, the choice is yours. God is not willing that you spend eternity in hell where it's outer darkness. Where there's weeping and wailing, where there's gnashing of teeth where the world never dies and the fire is never quenched. Go to Jesus, lay hold of your salvation. He is the good shepherd. He will save you. He will forgive all your sin, past, present and future. He will write your name in heaven. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness and is justified, just as if he never sinned. And with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. 
go to Jesus, lay hold of your salvation. The hour is very late. The devil wants to make you believe that God isn't real. The devil wants to make you believe that he isn't real. But Satan has come, not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ, the good shepherd, has come that we might have life, and that we might have it more abundantly. Jesus died on the cross for all our sins, past, present, and future. He was buried. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. If you believe that in your heart, and call upon Jesus, you will be saved with everlasting life. You will be sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, and God does not go back on his promises. You will be saved from going down to hell, and your name shall be written in heaven. Go to Jesus. Lay hold of your salvation. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you have done. Jesus will not turn anyone away who goes to him. Go to Jesus. Lay hold of your salvation. The hour is very late. This world is about to witness the vanishing of many people in what is called the rapture, when Jesus Christ himself descends from heaven and gathers up to heaven all who have believed on Jesus, all who have believed the gospel, that Jesus Christ shed his blood on the cross for the remission of all our sins, all means all past, present and future. He was buried in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead on the third day. If you believe that in your heart, call upon Jesus. This is the only requirement for you to be saved with everlasting life. Saved from going down to hell and have your name written in the Lamb's book of life. Have your name written in heaven. The thief, Satan, comes not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. But Jesus Christ has come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. He is the good shepherd. The good shepherd gave his life on the cross for the sheep. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of past, present, and future sin. He was buried, but on the third day he rose again from the dead. You believe that in your hearts. Call upon Jesus, and you will be saved. Jesus has promised that he will never turn anyone away who goes to him. And there is no other name under heaven given amongst men by which we must be saved. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life, the everlasting life. Your body contains your soul. When you die, your soul will go to the judgment seat of God. And without Jesus Christ to pay the penalty in full for all your sins, you will go to hell and you will make it into heaven. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Go to Jesus. Lay hold of your salvation. Very soon, this world is going to witness many people just vanish off the face of the whole earth in what the Bible calls the rapture, where Jesus Christ takes up to heaven all who have believed on him, and then we'll start what the Bible calls the great tribulation, when the Antichrist will reign. The Antichrist will cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads, the mark of the beast. Without the mark, you will not be able to buy or sell. But once you take the mark of the beast, that's it, game over. You'll be cast into the lake of fire. Go to Jesus now, and you will not have to spend your time during this great tribulation which is about to start on this world. Hurry up, lay hold of your salvation. Do not take the gamble that Jesus is not who he says he is. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man shall see heaven but through Jesus. Lay hold of your salvation. Do not hesitate any longer because he's about to come and take up to heaven all who have believed on him, all who have received the gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Christ died on the cross. He took the penalty in full for all our sin, past, present and future. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins. He was buried. On the third day he rose again from the dead. If you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. That's how simple it is. It's not about religion. 
Many churches will have taught you that it's about being religious, that you must do this, that you must get water baptized, that you must repent for all your sins. No, this is false. For by God's grace are we saved through our faith in Jesus, and that not of ourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, lest every man should boast. Lay hold of your salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved and your house. Jesus will write your name in heaven and you will escape the damnation of hell. Do not wait until you're in hell before you realize how real it is. Hell is a place of outer darkness where there is weeping, where there is wailing, where there is gnashing of teeth, where the worm never dies, where the fire is never quenched. Lay hold of your salvation. God made it so simple for a two-year-old child to understand. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believes on him should not perish in hell, but have an everlasting life, and their name shall be written in heaven. The gospel of salvation, the only requirement for you to be saved with everlasting life, saved from going down to hell, is this, that Jesus died on the cross. He was sacrificed to shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day. You believe that in your heart. Call upon Jesus and you will be saved. You will be granted the gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life to the sheep. Jesus said, my sheep, hear my voice, and I know them, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man take them out of my hand. Lay hold of your salvation, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. For there is no other name under heaven given amongst them by which we must be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man shall see heaven but through Jesus. Without Jesus, you will see hell. God doesn't want that. He wants you in heaven. He wants all to be saved. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you've done. All can be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Be a whosoever. Call upon Jesus. Believe what he did for you on the cross. We are not saved by our good works. Nobody will be able to be on the judgment day, nobody will be able to say, well, I didn't do anything wrong, I didn't harm anybody, I respected everybody, I loved everybody. No, without Jesus, you will not enter into heaven. For there is no other name under heaven given amongst them by which you must be saved. Save yourselves from this untoward, wicked and godless generation. Go to Jesus. He is the good shepherd. The good shepherd gave his life to the sheep on the cross. Jesus Christ was beaten so badly that he was unrecognizable. They pierced his hands and feet. They nailed him to the cross. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins, past, present and future. He is the good shepherd. They buried him in a tomb. On the third day, God raised him to life. You believe that in your heart. Call upon Jesus and you will be saved and your name shall be written in heaven. Do not take the gamble that heaven and hell are not real, because they are. And God doesn't want you in hell. He wants you in the kingdom of heaven. And he's not asking you to get religious. He's only asking that you would believe in the name of his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man shall see heaven but through me. Go to Jesus. It doesn't matter what you have done. It's not about religion. It's about believing on his death and burial, resurrection on the cross for all your sins and calling upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. Fear whosoever. Go to Jesus. Jesus himself has promised that he will not turn anyone away who goes to him. Go to him. Jesus shed his blood on the cross for the forgiveness of all our sins. Past, present and future sins. He was buried. On the third day he rose again. That if you shall confess 
confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and say, yes, I believe Jesus. Come into my life. Yes, I believe that you were raised to life on the third day. You will be saved. That's how simple it is. Many churches may have told you that it's about what you must do. No, it's not. It's about believing on what Jesus Christ has already done for us. Christ died on the cross for all our sins. He was buried and rose again from the dead. If you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, you will be saved. The hour is very late. The night is far spent. And the day of Jesus Christ is at hand. When Jesus Christ himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. And then we which are alive and then shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air. Go to Jesus. Do not be left behind when Jesus raptures up to heaven with all believers. This world is about to witness hundreds of thousands of people just vanish in what's commonly referred to as the rapture. Jesus Christ will take up to heaven all who have believed on him, all who have received the gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. Jesus will not turn anyone away who goes to him in truth. He is the good shepherd. The good shepherd gave his life for us on the cross. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of all our sins, past, present, and future. He was buried on the third day. He rose again from the dead. If you shall confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth, say, yes, I believe Jesus. Yes, I believe that God raised you from the dead on the third day. You will be saved. That's how simple it is. It's not about religion. It doesn't matter what you have done. Jesus will not take anyone away who goes to him in truth. But Jesus said, unless you repent, Unless you change your mind from unbelief and believe on the Son of God, you will all perish. Please do not wait until you're in hell before you realize how real it is. God doesn't want you in hell. He wants you in heaven. And he's not asking you to get religious. He's only asking that you would believe in the name of his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and what Jesus did for us. Jesus Christ was sacrificed on the cross because the Bible says there is no forgiveness of sins without the shedding of blood. So Jesus shed his blood on the cross for past, present and future sins. He was buried, but on the third day he rose again from the dead. If you believe that in your heart and call upon Jesus, it is the only requirement for you to be saved with everlasting life, sealed with Holy Spirit of promise and sanctified for the day of redemption, which is almost upon us when Jesus Christ will take him to heaven, all who have believed on him. Hurry up, please. Lay hold of your salvation. The thief Satan comes not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ, the good shepherd, has come that we might have life, and that we might have it more abundantly. Lay hold of your salvation. Do not take the gamble that heaven and hell are not real, because they are. Your body contains your soul. God bless you, madam. The thief Satan comes not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, has come that we might have the life, and that we might have it more abundantly. God is not asking you to get religious. He's only asking that you would believe the gospel that Jesus paid the penalty in full on the cross. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of past, present and future sins. He rose again from the dead on the third day. That if you shall confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth, say yes, I believe in Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's how simple it is. All these different religions tell you that you've got to do a bunch of things to make it to heaven. God is only asking that you would believe on his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. 
Now whosoever believes on him should not perish in hell, but have everlasting life, and their name shall be written in heaven. Go to Jesus, lay hold of your salvation. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter what you're doing, it doesn't matter what you have done. Jesus will not turn anyone away who goes to him. Lay hold of your salvation. Please do not hesitate any longer, because Jesus Christ is coming. He's about to snatch up to heaven all who have believed on him. And then we'll start what the Bible calls the Great Tribulation. When this one world leader, the Antichrist, will reign. The Antichrist will cause everyone to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. The mark of the beast. You will not be able to buy or sell without the mark of the beast. But once you take that mark, you will be cast into the lake of fire, which is the second death. God doesn't want that. He wants you in the kingdom of heaven. And he's only asking that you would believe on Jesus and what he did for us on the cross at Calvary. The Bible says, we have all sinned. We all fall short of the glory of God. I have sinned. I have done some terrible things, but I believed, I believed the gospel, that Jesus Christ paid the penalty in full on the cross. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of all my sins, past, present, and future. He rose again on the dead, from the dead on the third day, that if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That is the only requirement for your salvation, to escape the damnation of hell and have your name written in heaven. Stop it at that 20 minutes.